Since 1993, Apple's headquarters have been at one infinite loop located in the Cupertino City in California, United States. In April 2017, Apple completed the construction of a huge building that looks like a giant spaceship parked and still located in the same city. Despite its stunning appearance, this building was long under construction. It took eight years of planning, proposals, and permanent applications, and two years of construction in order to have such a building named Apple Park. Hello everyone, and in this video we will discover the incredible Apple's new headquarters. But before I start, I will invite you to subscribe to our ATEC channel, and don't forget to like and share the video. Get ready, we're going to start following now. Let's go! Apple Park The Apple headquarters is a huge masterpiece in shape ring, whose architecture is amazing and which extends over 176 acres of land. It just might be one of the most amazing in the world. About 80% of the space is covered with greenery. Over 9,000 trees, drought resistant across the land, have been planted, especially cherry trees, apricots, olive trees, and of course, some variety of apples. Designers have studied a lot so that the park fits perfectly into the nature. Apple Park is now an iconic symbol of the Apple brand, and is a fantastic testament to the dedication from business to sustainability and the future of technology. The design governs the campus from top to bottom and will influence probably the business in the future. Apple Park is seen like an Apple product designed by Johnny Ive, its crown jewel before leaving the company, his last gift for his friend Steve Jobs, who is deceased. Cost of Apple Park Let's talk about the cost of Apple Park first. The cost of the land was to be estimated at $160 million in 2011. The campus budget, Apple's II, was less than $3 billion. However, in 2013, the total cost was estimated at almost $5 billion. Well-being To encourage workers to maintain a healthy lifestyle, the land includes 3.2 kilometers of walking and running trails, as well as 1,000 bicycles. It can be used to travel between the buildings. It has other infrastructures such as a room sports center, a wellness center, and a few basketball courts. There is also a huge two-story yoga studio where employees, office workers can relax and relieve their back pain. In short, the campus really takes care of its staff and the environment too. It all comes down to one word, it's fair perfect. Ecology All the buildings are incredibly green. The construction of the main ring is home to one of the largest parks solar on the roofs of the world. The roof covered with panel solar panels that generate up to 17 megawatts of electricity, which is sufficient to meet 75% of the energy demand of the campus during peak hours. The rest of the needs of the campus is satisfied with on-site fuel cells powered biofuel or natural gas. In addition, the main building also uses a natural ventilation system, which means that it does not use traditional methods of heating and cooling 9 months out of 12, which reinforces the reference's green space. Construction on four floors, it has over 1.2 million square feet, office space, and enough space to accommodate up to 12,000 staff members. The design incorporated lots of glass in the construction. This includes the most large curved glass panels to the world. There are 800 panels of curved glass 45 feet high around the exterior of the building and about 3,000 smaller panels that are located inside. Low energy natural sunlight and the amount of transparent materials make the spaceship a place incredibly bright which is perfect for keeping some 1,200 energized staff members throughout their long working days. Moreover, the panoramic view is simply breathtaking. One of the most amazing features of these famous spaceship is that they are located deep underground. The main ring is one of the few buildings in the United States and worldwide to use basic insulation that protects the rings. Even though the worst earthquakes in California, the insulation system is made up of 692 huge plates of stainless steel that allow the building to move up to 4 feet in any direction without causing structural damage. 
There is also a large underground car park and network road completely hidden from the site. Parking is located at the both underground and in two large parking structures and accommodate approximately 14,200 employees. The regulation of Capertino required a minimum of 11,000 parking spaces, of which 700 have vehicle charging stations for electric. There are 2,000 parking spaces in the garage underground. Car park is managed by sensors and applications, which manage traffic and parking spaces. Putting these arrangements underground was an absolute necessity to maximize green space in and around Apple Park. Other features are found around the campus, including seven cafes, the largest being produced on three levels with enough seats for 3,000 people. The huge team of catering claims to have a sufficient capacity to feed around 15,000 people every morning. So there is certainly room for growth if Apple decides to extend this already huge architecture. Steve Jobs Theater The inspiring Apple Auditorium, formerly known as Steve Jobs Theater, is also near parks. The spectacular circular glass building conformed to the shape of fir tree and is topped with the largest carbon fiber roof in the world. The theater includes a 42-foot glass elevator high, which takes guests underground to an auditorium of 1,000 chemically tempered glass seats. The elevator is also considered the tallest freestanding glass elevator in the world. In addition, the theater has 350 parking spaces on North Tonto Avenue and a pedestrian path leading to main campus located northwest of the theater. The theater has won the Structural Artistry Award in 2018. The first theater press event took place on September 12, 2017, where iPhone 8, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone X, Apple Watch Series 3, and Apple TV 4K have been announced. All buildings. The other buildings in the park include a 10,000 square meter fitness center, two 28,000 meter research and development facility squares, a care clinic, and the visitor center, which is to be the only building in the whole park that guests can visit without a pass. Apple Park Visitor Center is under the same roof but is divided into four very special sections a 10,000 square foot Apple store filled with the latest Apple products a 2,000-square-foot cafe, an observation deck where you can watch above, an augmented reality experience zone. The reality zone augmented includes a mock-up of the entire Apple Park, offering visitors a glimpse into the lives of employees on campus via an iPad. Apple Park is packed with features and amenities incredible, much more than other work environments classic. The design of the Apple Park campus was qualified of ultimate example, or ultimate example of office parks of suburbs. These are in decline as companies are looking to settle in urban areas with better access to public transport, bicycles, and pedestrians. Apple has thought of everything. There have been a few complaints about the spaces of open offices. Some workers say they are distracted, thus affecting productivity. Also, these spaces sometimes go to against privacy. Also, Kate Binfield from Natural Resource Defense Council, an environmental advocacy group with nonprofit, criticized the campus for its contribution to sprawling existing urban area. With characteristics dependent on the car and the waste of expensive real estate that could have been used for affordable housing. Despite everything, this huge infrastructure has always been amazingly good recognized and set a new global standard on how which work environment can be amazing. Before I close, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you discovered Apple's new headquarters, Apple Park, and all that's inside. Feel free to leave a comment and to share, and don't forget to click on the blue thumb and activate the little bell to receive notifications and follow the next videos. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, subscribe to see other interesting videos. And on this, I tell you very soon on other subjects. Goodbye, and see you next time. Sayonara. Hey everybody, it's Nathan, the English voiceover guy for A Tech English. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to hear more from me, you can find me on my YouTube channel here on YouTube at Nathan Blake Games. Should be a link in the description and the end card. You can also find me streaming Monday through Friday at 1.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nathan Blake Games. Thank you so much, have a wonderful day, and sayonara!